You know when you're watching The Bachelor or the news or Sesame Street and a woman's boob falls out and they blur out her nipple? But like a dude can flaunt his nips all over TV and it's totally fine? That, my friends, is a double standard. Nipples are objectively awesome, so why should men get to have all the fun? Also, now that I think about it, why do men even have nipples at all? Well, you know how all humans are created when an egg is fertilized by a sperm? That kind of explains it all. We're all the exact same dinky, peanut-looking mammals floating around inside our mother's womb for the first couple weeks of gestation. But then the chromosomes arrive at the pregnancy party and they're on a mission to start some genetic drama. Sometime between week six and eight, the Y chromosome has the potential to get turnt at this party. And by turnt, we mean turnt on, which turns a genderless embryo into a male one. If the Y chromosome decides to not get turned on, then the embryo becomes a female. But even before the Y chromosome shows up, the genes that produce nipples are already rocking and rolling. And TBQH, it's just way too much work for the embryo to stop growing, backtrack, and get rid of the nipples. And since nipples are crucial to the development of a female human, they don't even really have a say in the matter either. So essentially, baby males just follow the trend set by baby females. Psh, what else is new, am I right? However, humans in the 21st century are like functioning on the most upgraded operating system for their bodies. What I mean is, the process of evolution has already done away with hair all over our bodies, the need to walk on all fours, and smaller brains that didn't let us do that much. So why are nipples on dudes still a thing if they don't really serve a purpose? Turns out this isn't the only type of evolutionary baggage we carry around with us. Wisdom teeth are useless in our smaller jaws, and tailbones are legit just the leftover part of when we used to have tails. That's it. And of course, there's the utterly obsolete appendix, which only seems to cause drama all up in your guts. Your body is a soap opera, and you are merely an audience member. Nipples aren't completely useless for men, though. They still contain a whole bunch of nerves, and when there's nerves, there's the opportunity for stimulation. The male nip is just as sensitive as a female's and therefore can be used for sexual arousal. Mark Wahlberg famously has three nipples, and Harry Styles is rocking four of them. If they're some of the special guys who have ultra-sensitive nip-nips, then they must be very happy campers. Of course, what would an episode about male nipples be without a discussion of how to milk them? Not an episode I want to watch, that's for sure. Bottom line, no, you can't really milk a man because a man doesn't have the necessary equipment to lactate. Unless you have a rare condition called galactorrhea, which causes the drop in male hormones like testosterone and a raise in female ones like prolactin, there isn't really a natural way to get nipple source half and half from a guy. So there you have it. Male nips are just kind of there, and they will be for the foreseeable future. Maybe it's because they don't really do much that our weird puritanical society has deemed male nipples acceptable for our virgin eyes, which is like kinda ass backwards if you think about it. Shouldn't we all be marveling at the glory of a woman's nipples, which literally nurture us into this crazy world? Why are they things that need to be hidden behind stupid black boxes on TV? Anyway, rant over, nips are cool and sexy on everyone. Call your congressperson and have a nice day.